Hey everyone, welcome back to Morning Guides for another DaVinci tutorial. If you're already here, that means you know what is the video gonna be about, so let's get started. So I'm already in DaVinci Resolve in the color tab and I'm previewing the video so you can see what we're starting with. This is what the video is looking like without any corrections. Nothing fancy, well recorded, we have some nice sequence, so let's see what we can do in order to improve it. And firstly I'm gonna start by creating a new node here, by pressing Alt S or just right click and add node. And this first node will take care of the shadows and on the first wheel which is the shadow one, we're gonna move the center a bit to the green and that way I'm taking some of the blue part out and I'm making the shadows a bit lighter by getting the center of the shadows towards the green a bit. And then I will add a gradient. You can also do that by clicking this icon right here. And now let's position that gradient from the bottom left corner to the top right corner, just as I'm doing it right now. So now we're having our shadows going to the greenish tint and we have an overall green tint from this side. The second thing that I'm doing is that I'm adding a new node here and I'm doing that by right clicking on the first one selecting add node and then add serial just after that i'm taking another gradient and i'm putting it into the opposite corner which in my case is the top right and i'm pointing it down to the left down corner and that way i'm gonna have some color contrast and then from here i'm going to the first slot of our primary wheels and then i'm going to the offset wheel and i'm gonna move the center to the red and orange to give it something like a setting sun vibe now one of the things that color grading is doing is that is directing the viewer's eye and the next step is something that we're gonna do about this and in the video footage that I'm working with right now I don't need the viewer to see this roof right here or at least not to focus on it so I'm gonna add some effects on it. So I will make another note and I will create a new gradient. And I'm using a lot of gradient because they are simple and very useful. This gradient I'm gonna place on the left top side like I said, it's nothing important in the footage, so I don't want the viewer to focus on it. And I'm gonna make it a little bit darker there. So to do that, I'm gonna go to the offset wheel and reduce the values of the RGB. By default, they should be set it on 25 each. And as you can see, I reduced their values to around 17. But in your case, it might be different, so you can reduce them more or less based on the type of your footage. So now we're gonna work on our actor in the middle. I'm gonna make him pop a bit. So I'm gonna start by creating another node and then selecting the qualifier by pressing this icon and I will drop our dropper somewhere in the blue area of his shirt and then I'm gonna turn the highlight from here and try to turn our key a bit more precise. And now what I'm basically doing is that I'm selecting all the blue parts that I want to apply changes on. So when you have your highlight on you will see which part you're using and you can adjust only the parts that you want to correct. And for that reason, I'm playing down with the settings until I get the result I desire, which in my case is to correct the colors only on the shirt. And now we don't see any changes because like I said, we're just selecting the area that we want to work on and now we're going to continue with it, which the idea is it to make it a bit more blue. And now I'm going to make the blue part shirt pop a little bit. I will add some saturation from here. Also add some color boost from here. And then I'm going to the gain wheel, which is in the first slot of our primary wheels. And I will move the center a bit to the blue side and just a tiny bit the same for the gamma. And now you can see the corrections that we did on the fourth note, which is the blue parts of the shirt. Now we have our guy popping out a little bit. Let's just quick take a look at the video to see what we have so far. And we did something nice, it is looking good. But we can do even more changes to improve it and look really great. So now we're gonna do another effect which idea will be the point of the viewer's eye to be in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create the two nodes. And for the first one I'm gonna click on this icon. And then select the circle and make it as big as the screen is. Spread it out and make it super soft like this one. Then I'll right click on this node. And then selecting add node and then out outside which will actually create a new node that has everything that is not selected in the previous one. So I will move down here these two just for a visual presentation. You don't actually need to do that. So now this node right here will deal with our middle and here we can add a bit of saturation just to help things pop out. Also add a bit of mid detail which will increase our sharpness 
you can find it right here and what we want to do now is to make our entire middle part pop out we have our red part here our red gradient we also have down here our green gradient which is the shadow part so actually in that circle we're gonna make all of our blue colors pop out and for that I will move just a tiny bit of the gamma and the gain towards the blue side and then about the last note I am selecting it and I will change just a tiny bit of the mid detail I will make it to a value of minus 10 just so I can reduce a bit of the sharpness and that is gonna look a little bit of blurry and also a little bit of touch on the saturation in my case I am making it on a value of 41 and also I am gonna take down a tiny bit of the offset just to give it a sort of a vignette look and all these little changes that you can barely see are making the big picture at the end and that was a quick color grading tutorial in DaVinci Resolve about making a cinematic look. Don't forget to like the video if it was useful, subscribe for more, leave a comment if you have any suggestions and see you in the next one.